Welcome, foolish mortals. I am your host, your ghost host. Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to my Indie Game Collective showcase of Illuminaria. Now, if this is your first time, or your hundred time on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, won't you? By subscribing, you'll be notified my videos go live daily. I cover live indie games, indie demos, and great content like this mean developers. So you're all things indie, you found your haunt. We have, we have 999 happy haunts here. And there's always room for one more. So hit that subscribe button today. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is an indie game collective showcase of the game. So you might be like, hey Bruce. And I'd be like, what's up? What's the indie game collective? Well, let me tell you. We're a grassroots community of content creators who focus solely on indie games. And we do so through live streams, videos, written reviews, Steam curation, podcasts, social media, and so much more. In fact, in the description below, you'll find a link to our Twitter page. We can find out more about us, how you can join us, even how you can get your game showcased by us. At this time, I'd like to thank developer publisher Sylvia Interactive for hooking me up with a copy of the game, and to the Game Collective for allowing me to showcase it to you, my audience. So enough of the pleasantries, let's talk about the game. What's it all about? Command a swarm of intelligent robots in their quest to save the world. Mine resources, manage, and defend multiple bases. Go on expeditions, fight in auto battles, research new technologies, and create your army of golems to bring back the light. This has overall positive reviews on Steam. Uh, it was released August 4th of this year. It has a strategy-based building resource management type of tags. Also in the description below, you'll find a link to the Steam page where you can pick this up for yourself. It is currently sitting at $15 USD. And if you're like, hey, Baru, this I'd be like, yeah. I can't swing 15 bucks right now. Hey, I understand. If this is your type of jam and you're into it and you can't swing 15 bucks today, wishlist it. By wishlisting it, you'll be notified in the future should it go on sale. And just a reminder, Steam's next fest and the fall sale are right around the corner, so who knows? Without further ado, we'll get into it because... There's no turning back now. And if you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe. Let's go into regions. We'll go to the forest. See easy, normal, hard. In the southern part of the planet, there's a vast forest. It was once a full of wildlife that coexisted in harmony. Now only monsters and dark creatures roam this region. The Illumini. Illumini. Prepare giant trees for the roots. Uh, prepare giant trees for the robots to use as bases and start in counterattacks against the darkness. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not good at these type of resource management type of games, so we're gonna go with easy. Yes. And we're gonna try to crank this one out real quick. We have some uh, severe thunderstorms rolling through the area right now, and I feel like I'm just like one good thunder and lightning clap away from losing power. So. So we'll go to the cave. Welcome, Commander. Roger, Roger. Uh, in this mission, you'll have a managed swarm of robots like me. High five. We are programmed to gather resources, build, and explore the world. Understood. Gathering resources. Resources can be extracted from natural deposits or can be crafted. We'll do the gathering automatically, but need to set up warehouses to start the production. So produce crystals. We click on the crystals tab. We hit accept. So we need to collect uh, stone. Go for that. Use a middle mouse button to kind of back out a little bit. Uh, we can build walls by com combining stone and crystal. Walls conduct electricity. If we build a square or rectangle shape, we can combine them, make a warehouse. Okay. Uh, so select tile. And confirm. Confirm. Sorry. Confirm. Confirm. So these guys can continue grabbing crystals. These guys are continue grabbing stone. And they want us to put iron in there, which is this tile right here. It's like wood. These dragon eggs. My head's not really covering anything. Uh, turrets. Enemies will threaten our caves. We can defend ourselves by building turrets and loading them with ammunition. 
Um, I guess. Okay, so you want me to build a wall, build a wall, build a wall, fill it full of wood. Why is, I mean, I'm not going to ask the question why wood's just jutting out from this underground. I have no arrows, they have not been produced, okay. Just because I'm going to do this. And this is going to be like an arrow warehouse, I guarantee it. I'm not going to jump ahead to the tutorial. I don't want to... I'm going to box myself into a corner here. How many robots do I have? Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. I wish I had a couple more robots. I could have two doing each job. Start building arrows. Beacons. Beacons help us clear the darkness from the world. We activate them by creating a wall that carries energy to where they are. So I need to build a wall. So these conduct electricity, which is... That's just a teleporter, okay. You can't really scroll it any further than that. Come on, we only need one more wall. Come on, y'all. Really? So that one's good. Okay, let's go into this cave. Uh, multiple active caves. All the caves we discover remain active all the time. We can teleport between caves and carry resources from one place to another. Interesting. We need energy to be able to work. After a while, we will get tired. We need to consume a new battery. So I need to guess I can put the wood in here. That didn't sound right. Um. Does it show me their battery life? Got wood here, we got wood here. And we need, um... Is that iron? Raw iron? Stone, what is this? That's stone, right? Is this getting closer? Can't tell if that's just the background or is that actually getting... Everything seems to be going on. Put a new warehouse and spin it to produce energy. Huh. 
Huh, yeah, I kind of fudged this one up. But I need, um... Yeah, I goofed up big. I should have made, um... I didn't see this one over here. Yeah, they're almost dead. I'm sorry. I meant to build you more batteries sooner. I apologize. Beware of the robbers. Robbers will visit our caves sporadically and will steal our resources. We can protect ourselves by building turrets around us. Well, I got all my turrets activated, so, like... My dude, go get a battery. Go get... Go, go get batteries. Go get a battery. The access to the beacon doors is locked by a door. Don't know what we need to do by using pain resources. He put three batteries in that thing, huh? Well, this makes sense for this screen since we have four turrets. But I will say, it, we should have made a bigger battery supply. We should have... That's the first thing on our next... Our next thing is we have to make a bigger battery supply because producing four batteries at a time is not going to get us where we need to go. But I'm not too sure looking at this. I mean, we need arrows. I don't know. What is this? Research is, a, research is a resource we can use to discover new technologies and materials. We need to assign a warehouse to produce and store research. Coal. Do we have coal? Is coal mine or is coal found? What's going on here? What's this symbol mean? I'm confused. Um, so we have to make batteries. Batteries are made from energy. I kind of make this all batteries. But is that a dumb idea? Because we need wood and iron and arrows.
This is all gonna be all batteries. I don't care because we have to fuel our research, right? So nothing but batteries, okay? No, I don't want... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Iron wood. So that's going to be fueled by batteries. As soon as they finish this. What did that do? I don't know. Uh, we need um, iron. We need wood. Build a where anywhere else instead to produce research. Is that a that is a thing, okay. So this is gonna be arrows. What does that mean? I understand what that symbol means. Oh. Yeah, we kind of need... We're selling our energy. I didn't even see these. Get him! Yeesh. So that means we're under attack. So that's what that means. Let's get everything built back up. Everything's looking good. You know, everything's going fine. What else can we... We should be fine over here. I got enough. I believe I have enough protection over here to.
Um, Get rid of this, yeah. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it big. We still doing okay over here? So we can get more robots. That's gonna be my big research. I got big batteries and I got big research. Why else gonna take a bomb? Huh. Parts and cores. We can fabricate more workers using parts and cores. Parts are resources that we can craft, but we need to research them first. Cores can be found in expeditions. Understood. So we need parts. Holy hell. That's a lot of... That's a lot of jewels. So, so it takes iron. So this is going to be now be. Attacks monsters will march towards our reactor, destroy it, protect ourselves by building turrets in their path. We definitely need a bigger iron depot. For sure. What's being used for stone? What's the... I got enough stone depots, don't I? Stone. Stone. I mean, they're not very large, but... Uh, we can use runes to improve our turrets, reactors, and machines. Runes can be found later during expeditions. Understood. We got this one thing making gears and this one thing making bombs. Oh, that's a. I should make this a complete gears panel. Sorry, you can't see my finger. I should make this just nothing but gears. Because I don't need any more walls here. I need iron, I need wood, I need arrows to defend the sector. That's all I need. And this iron's gonna make gears, so let's.
Can I... So can I not... Uh, rune orange level one. Increase my chance to shoot without spending resources. Increases damage by 20%. Increases reloading speed by 20%. Um, uh, we'll go with reloading because you're the last line of defense. I'm not making bombs anymore. Um... I want you to have, and you are going to be, so no resources used, more damage, fast reloading speed, because that's what we need. Get my battery. I need a bigger stone quarry somewhere. This is my only energy pit right here. I could probably give up a wood. Sorry. Because I have a massive... Well, it's not really massive... I had to think about what I was about to say there. I was about to say I have a mass of wood over here, but... Three... That's one, two, three, four, five, six... That's 18 panels of wood. That's 24 panels of wood. I mean, this is a perfect place for it. I have plenty of energy, plenty of arrows. I was about to move from an arrowless economy to a, to an all-bomb economy, but I guess that's not possible. Uh, I really don't need these batteries anymore, so... Let's just make this all iron. Can I really not? No, I can't really knock down that wood. I mean, that wall. There are special caves that need to be explored. We can send a team of workers to investigate. Of course, we'll use supply to move the different locations in the journey. I guess. I mean... Strange machine asks for resources and promises to give you more. Um, it's an enemy. That's an enemy. Not sure what these lunchbox things are. Um, Wow, I was not expecting this. 
We got three scrolls, two monster junk, fangs, and sword level. Got him. You found the bomb. It's about to explode. Um. Ooh. store I have five and five it's a rune I'd rather buy that the rune we can make I don't think we can make bow upgrades relic core good okay. I'll Alumni were people who existed long ago. They lived peaceful lives, embraced nature, living sustainably in all the ways they strove for harmony with species of the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our look at Illuminari. It's a lot of fun. I was not expecting that expedition part of it. I was expecting, like, an, a tactics RPG type of thing. Um, that's super interesting. Uh, I definitely give this two big thumbs up. This is my kind of jam, even though I seem like I'm kind of horrible at it. Plus, it's kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety thinking like how I've made mistakes at the very beginning of my cave and now I'm on cave three and this cave is not right, but it's a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. And if this is your type of game, once again, description below, link to the Steam page. Pick it up for yourself. It's $15 USD. Can't afford it. Wishlist it. You know how it goes. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe as always. By watching the video and liking it, you tell YouTube to show it to more people and so forth and so on. That's how you help me and you beat the YouTube algorithm. Let's let me know I'm doing a good job and I appreciate that. I'll be back at it again tomorrow with more indie games, indie demos, and great content like this for me and developers. And until then, my minions of robots. Oh, sorry, one second. I'll haunt you later. I got a sign made.